Yeah, that is great. Can you have a past life of the future? Yes. We perceive time as linear. So therefore, we have linear time. You know how I told you, like, it's all this vista that you can go here, you can go there. Um, that's a little closer to the way non-physical, non-linear timeline beings see it. You know, they, um, like, there are people who say to you, all time is happening at once. And, I mean, that's not true because that's still in the linear timeline concept. It's just all linear timeline at once. Um, past, present, future. It's the same, but for us, it's generally easier to visit past lives. But it's not necessarily, I mean, the truth of it, and you had a more sophisticated experience than most, is that past, present, future timelines can all be happening like concurrently or out of order, or, you know, you might be like, okay, I'm going to have a life in the future. And then later I'm going to have a life in the past. You might say, well, my soul became human 3000 years ago, but now I'd like to have a life that's 7,000 years ago. Like it's all good. You may choose if there's like a lesson you're trying to work on, you may decide to go way into the future where you have learned that lesson and you're doing good with it and then go back to your life earlier in time and learn that lesson. And Yeah, Mitzi disagrees with my statement. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. So those of you who worked with me with the Akashic Librarians following COVID for like a year and a half, they were speaking to us from the future. They were, we were in the here and now, but remember they said they're in new earth, they're in the future. And their goal was to help us create the best frequencies from here to there to help humanity get there with the least amount of trauma. So yeah, time's really not as linear as we think it is. And yes, you could have had a future life. Now for you in the now to think about a future life, that's going to have a strong reason. And also honor what a sophisticated soul you are, that you're able to just very naturally and comfortably say, time schmime, I'm going to connect with who's relevant whenever. You know, that's very powerful for like a first time regression. It is possible that maybe you weren't human. Yeah, it's possible that you weren't human, that you were like, or it's from another timeline. You know, blue. Were you human blue or another? You know, they have the blue people of Appalachia. So you could have been, I mean, and they have blue people in India. There are blue people. So, yeah. How was the life? Exactly. Exactly. And keep in mind, guys, like we're talking about connecting with frequencies and relationships that you probably have never done before in this life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, allow yourself the ability to say, okay, like I got this part of the connection really powerful and this part, like it just didn't happen. Again, it's like your first day on the job. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you go in, you can start, you know, working with, okay, this part I have strong, let's open up and see. And it may take a few tries to really get everything you're looking for. Um, and oh, once, and also I was thinking, um, if you were on a ship, like, I don't know, you know, if any of you guys have ever hung out with like aliens in spaceships, I have in this life, it's pretty easy to do. It could be that you also were in a past life, but you were, you went off with aliens and spaceships, but you will know what feels right. Like, you know, if it feels like it was a future life, 
or if it feels like it's a past life where, you know, because they there were aliens with spaceships here for a long time, or like you know the difference between that. Um, or if it's in a different dimension, like maybe you were part of a different race of being, you know in you what feels right. And that's what that's where the truth is. Yeah. But but they're all like really like we have to understand that we are our own barometer. One day my youngest son said to me, Mom, you know, you people pay you money to read their past lives to them. And I said, Yes. And he said, You're really good at it. I'm like, Yeah, that's otherwise I wouldn't be able to charge people. Yes. And he said, Well, how do you know you're actually reading their past lives? And you're not like, because you're psychic, you're not going into their mind and pulling out their fantasies and giving it to them in a dream time. And I was like, well, I mean, if I'm going to cheat that way, that's pretty cool. Like, I said, if I was that powerful a psychic, I could go into people's minds and pull out their thoughts and then present them to them. I would probably grow that skill more and do something else, probably for a lot more money. <laughs> but what a cool way to cheat. Like, no matter what, I'm like a powerful psychic. So that's awesome. And my son is acknowledging it. That's like the most awesome. <laughs> so um, whether it's like past life, parallel life, you are a being in another race or in another dimension, or you were in the past, but you hung out with aliens and spaceships. It's all pretty cool, but each one has an, a different connotation on why it would connect with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you will know. Yes. So when we did the past life regression, it's my second life. I thought we were seeing of this life. Mm -hmm. That happens sometimes. So sometimes when you're doing a past life regression, memories of this life that want to grab your attention will present themselves. Mm -hmm. So something happened in this life that for might be part of your karmic lesson, your life path, or a you have like sometimes it's you didn't complete me or you forgot about me and drop me on the roadside. I'm supposed to be part of your existence. <laughs> I've worked with people where they say, well, I stayed in this life, but I remembered my first day of school when I was five years old. Like I relived my first day of school when I was five years old. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Excuse me. So whatever comes forward comes forward for a reason you know within you what that reason is, and you can figure out why it's relevant. I have to figure that out, I guess. Yeah, and it might be, yeah, and it might be that specific memory wasn't the relevant thing. That might be the explore me, and it will take you to what's relevant. Because there might be a whole area that you've just like. And I didn't see myself. Yeah. I was observing the scene that I can remember in this life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will know. Just let it open itself to you and you'll go, oh. It could be there may be the completion of a karmic lesson that you need to release, or it could be a moment in your life that just wants you to honor it before you release it. Or it could be something you're like, I don't even want to remember that stuff. I mean, you will know. You will know. But there's something in your life that this is relevant. Otherwise, I mean, think of all the moments in your life that did not come forward now. This one came forward. Now, the other, one, other exercise, I didn't get anything. I was just like, up there, there's a door. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know you've had a bunch of past lives. So so you, you were like maybe in a resonance that was a good resonance, but not the resonance for that. That is a good one. Yeah. It's wonderful when we reincarnate as elements or plants or animals. That's, those are like terrific lives. Yeah. 
That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Now, remember, the lives that come forward, they feel connected to you in this life. Or they feel like you can help them with something. They can help you, or you can help them, or they just feel like you're very compatible. So remember that when you think about any lives you visited, past, present, future, parallel, if they're presenting themselves, there's a resonance between you. And there's always lessons to be learned that can be applied to your current life path. Mm -hmm. Is there like 